Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. You, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Ah, man said a Jesus. Precious can, Precious, can you go ahead and sing a song? I don't want to override the music. She can you can't you? hear the music. Right. <laughs> she can. Yes. <laughs> I, yes. Amen. Hallelujah. It, yes. Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Glory, Thank glory, you, Jesus. Glory. Yes, yes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We cannot yes, hear God. it. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Rabba Karande. Yes, Lord Jesus. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Yes, Lord Jesus. Okay. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Yes, God. Yes, God. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, the ocean. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, go oh God. Yes, God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Welcome everyone to Minnesota Engagement. Well, yes, we're sharing, please share also because all the three women that absolutely love the Lord out, we are here together yeah. to send up praises and <clears throat> from the Lord God on today. So join and cheer. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.
Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory oh, to God. God. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. I know that Aaron's army is behind me. And I know there's nothing other in front of them. But the Lord God stands still. Yeah. I stand. The blood of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. See the wall, she let a man see. Jesus, let it play. Jesus. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Well, we praise the Lord that one of us can hear. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Yes, God. Thank you, Father. Yes. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you, Jesus. Yes. Yes, God. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yes, God. Yes, God. Bless the Lord, oh my son. Yes, God. Thank, Thank you, God. Jesus. And all that is within me. Bless yes, your God. holy name. Thank you, Lord yes, God. Lord Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to his yes. name. Hallelujah. Yes. yes. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. He is God. He is God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ooh, we serve an awesome God. Yes, yes we, do. we do. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Yes, we do. Oh, hallelujah. We serve an awesome Amen. God. Yes, Amen. we do. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Okay, Thank I got you. it right there. Oh, hallelujah. I'm, 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 I'm dealing with tech, tech issues today, but God, you hear me? Oh, hallelujah. Amen. But God. Amen. Oh, Amen. hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, God. We praise you. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord Oh, Jesus. hallelujah. I'm going to tell you all firsthand. I'm telling you firsthand. We serve an awesome God. Yes, we do. Yes. Hold on. Yes. yes, we do. He is awesome and he is mm -hmm. mighty. He is yes. powerful. Yes. There's yes. nothing yes. more powerful than the Lord yes. God Almighty. The creator yes. of heaven and the earth. And I give yes. him, oh hallelujah. We give him on today all the yes. honor and the glory and yes. the praise. Yes. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Let everything hallelujah. that yeah. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. Oh, women of yes. God, just praise him for a moment. Let's just yes. take a minute. Hallelujah. Just praise yes. the Lord. Yes. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Glory. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Welcome. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Said him, my sister. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Lord. Lord. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> yes. Welcome, everyone, to Ministerial Engagement. I will we give God all the honor and glory and praise. Thank you so much for joining us because you didn't have to. You didn't. However, Amen. you're here and it's ordained by God. Yeah. Even those of you yeah. that are scrolling through, it's not just by mm -hmm. chance that you're stopping yeah. by to see those three Amen. women that have to Lord, it was ordained. Yes. Yes. And I'm going to ask yes. if you could just stop and just stay right here um, yes. from the beginning to end because mm. if you leave, you can miss something. Yes, you can come back later yes. and get it, though, but it's not the same. It's just like when you are at the house of God and the word mm -hmm. and the anointing is going forth and mm -hmm. you can get healing and your deliverance. Mm -hmm. When we watch mm -hmm. it, it doesn't have that same. You, you can get it, but it's not mm -hmm. like being right here while it's still going on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's important to tap into that anointing yeah. that's going on at that yeah. moment. Yes. And so, and, and then do you still? I'm a witness, can get it after the broadcast. And yeah. so, however, something special yes. about being yes. there live, being Glory. there while it's going Yes, on. Lord Jesus. I mean, that, because me, I want everything that God has for me. I don't yeah. want a little bit or a taste or, or yeah. I'll take that poem that the Bible talks talk about, but I want yeah. it all. I, I want it all. Yeah, I want man. It. God has for me. What is that Amen. song? What God has for me is for me. That's yes, and that's me right now. What God Amen. has for me, it is for me. Yes. I give honor also. I'm um, to God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, to my overseers, Reverend Dr. Ellis McKeaton, and also also Thomas Dicker, and to yes. my pastor. Oh, hallelujah. My name Amen. is anointed man of God, Apostle Adams, and then to um, minister Lady Adams. Also, I love you both so much, and I thank God for Team Jesus. All of yes. you, absolutely, yes. one of the ones that are here now, the ones that have been, and ones that are coming. Yes. And I thank God for you, those that I call you the followers of Jesus Christ. And as yes. we follow after God, you follow us to yes. be able to receive yes. all that God will have 
for you. And those of you that stop and buy that will become a follower mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ yes. and a follower and to where as we're following God and giving you exactly yes. what God has told us to give, mm -hmm. you will receive it into your heart. Mm -hmm. I ask that everybody, when the prayer comes, ask every to, for you to pray that God cleanse any spiritual wax. Yeah. and that he removes any spiritual blindness and that he conditions your heart and if there's mm -hmm. any unforgiveness in it ask God to mm -hmm. remove that unforgiveness yes. that way you can receive all of what God yeah. will have for you we've yes. had an awesome week we've had yeah. an yeah. awesome yeah. month in past several yeah. weeks since we've been back and mm -hmm. that I want you to go back and, and get the word regarding uh, unresolved problems that uh, Reverend uh, Robert Sacco will preach. He's teaching mm -hmm. how to break Glory. verses. Mm -hmm. He's talking about generational cursing, spiritual yeah. fasting, mm -hmm. about how we root yeah. up ourselves, how mm -hmm. we root up mm -hmm. our own children because mm -hmm. of the things that we've done yes. and mm -hmm. the things we've done. And, he's, and go back and watch the week before mm -hmm. because he's teaching a firsthand how to break these curses, how to stop yeah. cycles yes, yes. families to where they just have a complete a, a cycle just going over yes. and over and over again. Yes. Time to break that cycle. Yes. And yes. then the woman of God yesterday, my God, she preached an awesome word. Let me tell you, it was awesome. It was awesome. And it and, and, and it was just like, my God, but she walked heavy and the prophetic uh, anointing and the apostolic anointing. I had said yesterday how God, I was, my spirit was heavy yesterday and I was sitting and I was crying out. I was watching something on TV mm -hmm. and my heart got heavy and I wept. So if any of y'all was wondering, well, what's going on with my eyes? I was weeping. I felt the heart of God. And mm -hmm. as I was feeling the heart of God, I heard him and that he was giving me prophetic warnings and prophetic things. But then he said that I don't want you to say it, to bring forth the word or have prophetic, but he has given it. And I didn't read, I, I was looking yesterday to try to find the three pages, but I didn't. And I read two of those, but the first page is really important. And so Lord God, he told me to read that to you this morning before we go any further. So um, it was about now from 1.30 the 150 on yesterday and actually apostle davidson was going through something at that time also and those that watch yesterday or you've what went back and watched you saw too how she was heavy and i had to pray for her before she even preached because we both felt the heart of god yesterday and he was crying out and he told this to me he says, I have given, and I hadn't talked to the woman of God or anything. And he said, during my crying, he says, I have given Apostle Davidson a hard word to preach. It is not an easy word that hard and difficult to preach. It is a word that reflects the tears you are shed shedding at this very moment because of the people continued sins. You are filling my heart right now and even more pray and ask, am I supposed to give this prophetic warning today after seeing the global remnants of death, devastation and disaster? Mm -hmm. I told you I was bringing forth to the entire world. The word I have placed in my apostle Cynthia Davidson is a word to call out sin, to set the houses of God in order, to cry mm -hmm. out salvation, repentance, or death. Eternal will be your everlasting destiny instead of the kingdom of heaven. And then he told me, you know, we get chastised too. And so he told me, you are not supposed to stop her or ease over the roughness of this word. Those that seek me first in all their ways will understand and pray for her and for the people to receive. Your heart cares and loves so much and don't want to disturb or hurt others because of your present state today 
of pain and in transition. And if you can see, I'm not at home right now because I got so much going on. I'm just, I'm gonna be honest and real. I am just overwhelmed with some stuff, even dealing with some police today. I mean, just overwhelmed. And God knows that even when I'm overwhelmed, I still love, I love all the time. Then he says, God said, do not allow Oh, this is what you were telling me to tell the people because some people, mine's going to go there. Oh, she's not living right. So he told me, do for you, those that mine went there, do not allow your minds to think that I, Apostle, and he, he said, Bonnie Foster has done something wrong. He says for you to stop and think in this and do not judge and not complain about what I am going to going to grow and, and do not condemn anyone after she preaches my word of my heart, thought, and feeling today. I am raising her up. Open your eyes all and see my words being fulfilled. Do not say anything else after I read this and turn it over to Apostle Davidson. And that's what I did. And we closed out. So he was telling me that the condition that I was in yesterday, I couldn't bring that hard word. And so the word that she brought, I mean, tell them the title, woman of God. Tell them the title. The title was, I want to offend you. Yes. She said, I want to offend you. I want to. And, and it was because by offending that it's gonna save your soul because otherwise mm -hmm. God is seeing death and devastation. And so he told me to go back and read that because it's important. We don't want to miss anything that God has for you. And so go back and even watch last week when uh, the, the older prophetess that she taught mm -hmm. that word. Oh my God, it was such an anointing mm -hmm. word. And it's a word that we need. It was called broken broken mm -hmm. how many people yeah. are broken my pastor uh, uh, uh apostle adams he talked about that on sunday he yes. talked about how sometimes people have been hurt you've been hurt at other churches you've been hurt from past relationships and you carry the hurt and actually you start yeah. looking at for it and stuff and you got to be healed and you delivered and how through the blood of jesus and at this time, I yield to Apostle Davidson as we go forth on with the day. Can y'all share this word before mm -hmm. if you know, you know the three women that love the Lord will back together today? Amen. 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 Oh, amen. I thank God amen. for the, the, the people that are up here with me, the co host, Apostle Cynthia Lynn Davidson, and the speaker today. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, and a little too anointed women of God. I love yeah. you both, and y'all stay right here. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 I too welcome you to Minister Engagement, where God is our, our station director, where God is our king, where God is Lord. God has his way up here all the time. Yes, he does. Don't think it's scripted. Amen. Because sometimes we may have something written down. Ah, but God will, God will always flip the script and say, ah. no, do it this way or leave Amen. this out. However God say do it, we're going to be found guilty Amen. for doing it. Amen. So we welcome you to join us, the three women that love the Lord. Hallelujah. We just ask you to say, to say a while. You may be scrolling through, but stop and hear what thus said the Lord on today because God, God has a word for us Amen. on today. Amen. Amen. I want to read Amen. the scripture, then I'm going to go into prayer. I'll be reading from Jeremiah 29, verses 11 through 14, and it reads, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, mm. thoughts of peace and not of evil, to mm -hmm. give you an expected end. Yeah. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. Yeah. And ye shall seek me and find me when ye search me, search for me with all your heart. Amen. And Lord, I bless you to read it and hear it of his ho most holy word. Let us bow our heads for a word of prayer. Father God, we bless you, we glorify you, we magnify you. 
We trust you on today, oh God, like never before, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we ask you to forgive us for our sins, our thoughts, our deeds, our motives, even our attitudes, Lord God. Actually, wash us, purify us, cleanse us from the crown of our head to the very soles of our feet, Lord God. Holy Ghost, come on in and, and sup with us. Reign in us. Take over yes, our God. mouths, our ears, our eyes, mm -hmm. our we'll thoughts, even now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, have your way, Holy Ghost. Jesus, speak to the woman of God on today, oh God. Use her like you never have before. Take our eyes off of her, take our ears off of her, and send our thoughts, our ears, yes, our eyes solely on you the author you, jesus and the finisher of our faith yes god. in the name of jesus actually you're moved by your power yes heal god. deliver yes. restore renew yes. revive yes, set yes, free jesus. break the shackles yeah off yes. the hearts the minds the men women boys and girls those who are going to hear this broadcast live and those who are here later on let your anointing go through yes, yes, this video Jesus. even now, Lord God. Yes, your God. will and your way in Jesus' matchless and Jesus. mighty name. Amen. Amen. Glory. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Glory. Amen. I have the blessed privilege to introduce to some and to present to others our very own Prophet <laughs> Elder Johnetta Little. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory Thank God, God for her being a member of Team Jesus. Uh, Minister engagement. We mm. love her to life. Thank you. Amen. Jesus. She loves the Lord. She's Glory married to, to Deacon Ray Little. She's Ooh. a mother and a grandmother. Yeah. She's a, a faithful servant of God cannot lie ministries. Amen. Mm. Under just under Prophet Jesse McLaren. Mm. Amen. Amen. And God has, has been using this mighty woman of God for such a time as this. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And we just love her. Thank we you. love her. We love her. Yes, she's she's our baby Amen. sister. Yes, <laughs> Amen. I am. She's a, she's a I am. woman of God. She is. She's a prayer warrior. She's a counselor. She loves people. But most of all, she's saying, sanctified and filled with the precious gifts of the Holy Ghost. Jesus. Amen. And still, we'll stand flat foot and give you what thus saith the Lord. <laughs> Amen. 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 Glory Amen. To God. It's time to turn you to the hands of Apostle Bonnie Foster. Glory to God. Um, yeah, I'm going to play a song. We do not own the rights. The next voice you'll hear will be the woman of the hour that's going to be bringing forth that mighty word of God. Amen. All the Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Yes, God. Yes, Jesus. The blood Jesus shed for me when I on Calvary, the blood that gives me strength yes, from death yes, to death, yes, it will never burn. It's yes, God. And it's soon my doubts, and it calms all of my fears. Yes, God. Yes, God. And that heavy blood, you took me so. All of us, I see. 
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 We praise the Lord for the praise and worship. Um, we yeah. we really got our just from watching you, Apostle Bonnie, because we could not hear a thing. Oh, really? Oh. We could not hear a thing. So wow. uh, we yeah, we were trying to, you know, warn you, but but we, listen, we enjoyed watching you praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You, Amen. The blood of Jesus and the oh, blood yeah. will never lose its power. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But I was watching to make sure I started when the song stopped. And I was looking at your expressions to make sure. But to God be all the glory. Amen. 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 He praised God for what he's doing, yeah. what he's doing what he's going to do. Amen. Yeah. Because you danced your dance and you praised <laughs> through that worship for all of us, girl. So <laughs> the blood will never lose its power. Yeah. Amen. 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 That's the truth. Glory, glory. Yeah. But go on in to ministerial engagement. Hallelujah. Um, if you got a song in your heart, you know what Apostle Bonnie was feeling as she danced. Glory to yeah. God. Hallelujah, and gave him glory, even in the midst, even in the midst of yeah. mountains and storms, she still got a praise. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah, you better praise him, sister. Yeah, come on, Get sis. glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Those mountains yeah. and storms to be moved out of your life. Yes. Yeah. 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 But even though, you know, the enemy comes in like a flood, the Lord will raise up a holy standard yes, again. Yes, he will. 
And you just always remember that your name is victory. Glory yeah. to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to give honor to uh, the Father, the Son, and his precious Holy Spirit. We yeah. praise God for him being God yeah. all by himself. Yeah. Hallelujah. We praise the Lord for his platform. Glory to yeah. God. That I want to honor the visionary glory to god yes. obedience hallelujah yes. god for apostle prophetess bonnie foster yes. glory to god. Yes. praise god for her co-host as she calls yes. her her ride or die hallelujah <laughs> She is always there. Amen. I, I never forget the vision that God showed me when, you know, the spirit um, doesn't get tired. It might get weary, but it yeah. doesn't, the spirit of the Lord never gets tired. But our Amen. spirit is weary. But yeah. the Lord gave me a vision one time of Apostle Precious running in and scooping up Apostle, throwing her over her shoulder. You know, <laughs> you know I'm telling you, you know, like, um, when you're at war, glory to God, and you never leave a soldier behind, that's mm. what I in the spirit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. He ran in and scooped her up, threw her on her shoulders, and ran her to safety, the safety <laughs> of the Father, glory to God. So I praise God for these mighty women of God. I my praise God, God for all God. of you, Jesus. Mm. Amen. Yeah, and the I'm good good. Thing he's doing through us. Amen. Amen. Mm. Glory to God. I just want to honor you on today for stopping back by mm -hmm. to hear what those women who love the Lord's got to say, glory to God. And uh, mm -hmm. God is a word today. There is a word from the Lord. And as the apostle said earlier, um, there it's been a month. It's been a great month. Um, mm -hmm. uh, there's been a, a lot of prophetic warnings. There yeah. has, um, you know, a lot of consoling from the Lord, but you know, God, he means what he says, and he says what he means. Amen. Yes, he and so we just praise God that he is a loving and a kind God, but we know that things have to come to pass. Yes, do, do. Jesus comes. We're ever so grateful mm -hmm. how God uses the women of God to bring yes. forth uh, the prophet, the um, prophetic word. And we're, just, we're just honored to be in yes. service, to serve you on tonight. Amen. Yes, amen. amen. So if you would, just take a few minutes and let's pray. Glory to God. Father God, we just thank you for your word. Holy Spirit, we glorify you and honor you. And we thank you, Lord, for what you're getting ready to give your people. Father, I completely yield to you. You had to deal with me first. So I, in my obedience, I'm giving back. So Father God, we call these people blessed that their, their hearts and their minds and their spiritual ears will be open on tonight that they may receive you. And Father God, we glorify you and we honor you in all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Glory to you. Hallelujah. So the last time I was here, I had I had the honor of bringing forth a message called Broken. You know, um, it, it starts with life experiences. It starts with what God is doing in you. And then God tell you to go, you know, and give, give the word, give the experience. Amen. And so I, I want to propose a, a few questions for you tonight, not necessarily for you to answer them right away, but for you to just really think about what God is saying. Amen. In this season and in this time, there are lots of things that have come forth prophetically, hallelujah, that has is preparing us to get to that point that God wants us to be, amen. So the first question that I want to ask you is, what are the mountains in your life? What is going on with the mountains in your life? Hallelujah. I want to let you know, first and foremost, that God is in the mountain moving business. Amen. Nothing is too hard for our God. Amen. And if he allowed it, you can get through it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What is it in your life? Hallelujah. What is it that you're saying to yourself? Oh, that's impossible. That can't happen. That's that good. mountain won't be moved. What is that mountain that's got you stubbed right now? What is that mountain in your life that has you doubting God? What is it? 
is anything impossible for God? The word of God says no, amen? How is this mountain challenging you? How is it that it defines itself as being bigger than God? We know in our hearts, hallelujah, that nothing is bigger than God, all creator, hallelujah. He created every and all things, glory to God. So we know that nothing is impossible for him and we know that nothing is too big for him. But perhaps it could be our faith level. Perhaps it can be uh, when the challenges come, of course they're hurt. As I told you, uh, they hurt. I told you last week, some of these things, most of these things are meant to hurt, to get us to the next plateau, the next height in God, amen? So perhaps our faith size needs to be evaluated on tonight. I wanna remind you of this one thing. That the Lord thy God said, if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, a mustard seed is so tiny in size, but when it is planted into darkness, I want you guys to get this, when it's planted into darkness, it germinates, glory to God, and it turns up to be this magnificent, mighty tree. That one little mustard seed. We're going to evaluate our faith on tonight. Because if you say to this mountain, glory to God, move from here to there, and it will move. And nothing will be impossible for you. That's the word of God. Don't believe me? Look it up in Matthew 17, 20 through 21. Glory to God. We can move mountains. It's not us in our present self. It's all about the father. But when we yield and we allow him and we have faith and we don't doubt, that mountain has to be cast into the sea. Glory to God. You hear me on tonight. It's got to move. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, Jesus doesn't want us to focus necessarily uh, so much on, on the mountain and how huge it is. Mm-hmm. He wants us to focus on our faith. He wants mm-hmm. us to understand that he is still God, regardless of that mountain in your life. He is still God. He can make some things happen just like that. He is God Almighty. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. And we should not ever lift it on him. Yeah. Because when we look at God, when we literally feel the spirit of the Lord, we are empowered to know that he's, he's God Almighty. Send the word in the spirit, Almighty, Almighty, Almighty. He is all. There is nothing he can't do. Amen? Amen. You can move mountains. And you certainly can move them little bit of hills in your life. Yes. Yeah. God brought you to these little bit of hills. Mm-hmm. And sometimes these mountains, glory to God, he trusts you in your faith to make the moves. Amen. We have to understand that the problem that the most of us have is we doubt God. We doubt God on occasion. When that thing comes in like a flood and it seems to be overwhelming, it seems to be uh, taking complete control of your life, but it hasn't taken all of the control. Hallelujah. Because a lot of you are still obedient to what the word of God says. You're still pressing forward. You don't know what the end will be, but you're standing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're standing. Glory to God. And what must we do, hallelujah, in the midst of all the chaos and the calamity and the turmoil and some things are worse than others, glory to God. But what are we doing in the midst of that when we don't know what to do? We stand and we wait on a word or a move from the Lord. Hallelujah. I shall not be moved. Glory. I remember that was my saying. Hallelujah. I would say it for about three years and when the enemy came in I would be I shall not be moved you got to take a stance and if the enemy is definitely involved in that trial you got to let him know who your daddy is what foundation you're standing on 
hallelujah, and that you are all powerful. Glory mm-hmm. to God. According to Luke 10 and 19, yes, mm-hmm. I'm going to see it every time. <laughs> you are all powerful. Hey, woman, God. Hey, yeah. Let me <laughs> You are all power, all powerful through Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. To God, hallelujah. God, he moves them. Hallelujah. He takes them to the out of the Just because the end is near, God comes in and the mountain crumbles to the ground. God, hallelujah. God wants to move extraordinarily. He wants us to have amazing and bold faith when it comes to moving mountains. Glory to God. Because God will do it every time. Every time. A single time, if you really think about it, and I'm talking to you single you uh, season saints, there has never been a time in your life when you were going through that mountain looked like it just, you just weren't going to make it up there. <laughs> Not one single time. And you can't tell me that it, one single time. Because I know that for a fact, because God is not a failure. Yeah. Man, say so. The mountain takes you out. Yeah. Glory to God. And you're secure in Christ Jesus. Mm-hmm. You still win, baby. Yeah. You still win. Stay yes. with Jesus in every area and aspect of your life. Yes, yes. it's very difficult right now. Mm. Yes, it is a, a time and a season where we don't know, hallelujah, uh, what's going to happen the next day. Mm. Nope. But the one thing we do know is God knows. And God has prophetic warnings, hallelujah, to get mm. ourselves in place, hallelujah. Yeah. There's still going to be some pr- surprises to the day. Mm-hmm. Once we get past this day, God graces us to get to another day. That day has worry and problems and calamities in itself, but it also has joy. And understand who you are in him. Let's go to some scripture. I want to go to um, Mark 11, and I want to start at verse 22. And I just want to talk to you a little bit about your faith. Glory to God. Yeah, it's, it's, you know what? It's impossible to get a move from God if you do not have faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. Amen. So the first thing we're mm. constantly on when we're thinking about these mountains, again, where is glory to God? So the word of God reads in this passage, have faith in God. So I verily say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and thou shalt cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Glory to God. Mm-hmm. God himself is in fighting you. Jesus said it right here in the word. The words are read. He said it right mm-hmm. here. God is inviting you through yes. your faith. Glory to God. Yes. To be a mountain mover, baby. Hallelujah. And that gives a whole new meaning when you know that scripture to the word of God when he says, I can do all things through Christ Jesus. Who what? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Preach. You can do it. You yeah. can do it, sister. Yeah. You can do it, sister. Yeah. And through Christ Jesus, yeah. all of you can do it. You yeah. are ten movers. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. And it all comes with. Thank you, God. Yeah. Hallelujah. And you know, our faith is going to be tested. Yes, it is. But the Lord thy God has already prepared a way for us to escape temptation. It might look bleak right now, but in the next minute, honey, baby, God has come. Amen? Yes. Amen. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Hallelujah. And with that being said, we know that we are mountain movers because the word of God doesn't lie. We just have to line ourselves up and to get into place in his word, to be in his will. Glory to God. And act on it. 
As sister says, walk in it. Glory to God. Just walk in it. <laughs> now, another thing that we have to understand uh, when we're thinking about this faith, this faith, and how, how do we make this faith you know, come to pass. How do we, how we, how do we make this moving of mountains come to pass? Pass. We know that it is through our faith, but yeah. mountain moving faith it speaks. It speaks the word of God, just as the Lord spoke. Mountain moving faith it speaks, and another thing that this type of faith does. Is it praise? This mm. mountain moving faith, it mm. is, and it also prays, and it mm. also has a relationship with the Father. Honey, if you got a mountain to, to move, you can't start praying about the mountain right now. Well, you can, but you should have been praying about the mountain a little while ago. Amen. Uh -huh. Man. To, to, to do some things in you through prayer first and foremost we gotta ask God to help us when we don't ask God to help us hallelujah it, it kind of diminishes the glory that yes. he has in our lives amen because amen. the word says ask and we shall what receive. receive but if we're asking God for anything we're not going to get anything. Amen. So that mountain moving faith, it prays. And where does this faith come from? It comes from the word of God. It comes from believing the word of God. It comes from knowing who God is. Amen. You know, um, when we're growing up and we're going to Sunday school as little children or to vacation Bible study, glory to God, when we're doing all these things and the adults in our lives are uh, pushing us into these things so that we can learn the things of God, there our faith is being built. But I find some of the most faithful people are babies and, 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 and the, the young folk, amen, who have received Christ. They seem to be the, the, the most faithful because you know why? Number one, they haven't, some of them have not experienced a whole lot of storms as of yet. And then I believe God has this wonderful protection uh, for these young new people, glory to God. And he just shows him, he shows himself so strong. Amen. Everything they ask for, everything that they got going on, God comes in just like that. But as we mature, we have to mature also in him. So we have different levels. And when I was 25, glory to God, God was keeping me, but I was going through some stuff. Amen. And as I was going through some stuff, I was still going through, but he was showing me who he was. And he was, he was taking me higher and higher and higher in him. Amen. Talk about that, 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 mountain moving faith That's glory cool. to god yeah. hallelujah the kind where you lay your hands on the sick and they are healed hallelujah where you can just walk by glory to god and people are feeling the anointing of god on their life and being healed by just your shadow the good lord said that we would do even greater than he did amen but so let's let's really adjust our faith on tonight. Let's let's really think about where we are. And the way to get more is to be in the word of God. The way to get more is to love him. The way to get more is to study his word. The way to get more is to keep watching. Amen. The way to get more is just to be involved in all things God. Amen. Amen. Because he is the miracle worker, not us, but he will work the miracles through us in our obedience. Amen. You feel like you can move a mountain now? You should because you are capable and you are able. I'm talking to the saints. Glory to God. Don't you get weary in this well doing. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Our words need to be faith filled. 
And that's why we must self-evaluate at all times. Spending more time with God, hallelujah. The more time you spend in that relationship, the more your words are gonna speak the words of God. Stay with Jesus in every area of your life. You matter for you. Stay in Jesus because you can do it. You ain't seen nothing yet. You already heard the prophetic warnings. God already said, don't be afraid. Now you go out there and you move some mountains. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, woman of God. Preach move it. some mountains. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Faith grows only through our relationship with the Father. There's nowhere else you're going to get it. You got to develop a relationship. You got to understand who he is. To know him is to love him. And to love him is because he first loved us. Amen. To know that kind of love is to know that the father sent him on Calvary's cross to shed his blood. He was punished on our behalf. You got some of that last week and broken. Amen. But see, this lesson is talking about when you rise up from that brokenness, baby, and you see those mountains in your way and you can say, I know the God that I serve. Hallelujah. And if he says that I can do it through faith, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be obedient to his word. There's so many things going on in the lives of, of Christians, especially. Amen. We're not excluded. It seems like in this day and time, it seems like a whole lot is falling on us, but we've gotten the word. We understand that this is going to come to pass. Amen. Preach. But we know the ending of the story. Be encouraged in everything that you do. You get a hold of yourself and know that you can move mountains through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, you will experience, mm -hmm. you will experience the actual moving of the mountain if you haven't already. Amen. But we move mountains all the time through prayer, uh, through fasting, glory to God, um, yeah. just knowing who God is, you know, and he will use you at any moment and any time. He will yeah. use you to, to even move mountains out of some other people's lives. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He will do it for you. Glory to God. We just have to check ourselves really before we wreck ourselves because this yeah. word is a reminder of who God is and who God yeah. is in you. Hallelujah. We forget that because he is all powerful. You know, he's adopted us into the kingdom. We're his kids and we've inherited some things from him. Yes. And moving mountains is one of them. Glory to God. Yes. Life is filled with all kinds of things going on. And sometimes we don't feel like we're going to make it. And then we have that old adversary. You know, he comes in and he tries to add fuel to the fire. Amen. But you know what? Just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, baby, when we are thrown into the fire, who walks amongst us? Mm. And we don't even smell like smoke. And our mm. clothes and our hair is not singed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm. I praise God for that. Amen. That he's always in the midst. Hallelujah. And making a way out of no way. That's what God, you're going to be thrown into the yeah. fight. You're yeah. going to, you're going to have some mountains. You're going to have to learn how to move. You're yeah. going to have those experiences that don't feel good. But baby, when you are all powerful in Christ Jesus, hallelujah. That's what the word means when he says you are more than a conqueror. Yeah. yeah. That's what he means by that. Don't you doubt yourself and don't you doubt him. Because if you can receive and you can believe, you can get everything that you need from God in this season. Yes. Life is going to take you through some seasons of mountains and yes. storms. Life mm -hmm. is just going to take you there. Those are normal things. You're not always going to be walking in a hurricane. 
You're not always going to be walking in a tornado. You're not always going to be walking in a thunderstorm. Those things are limited by time. Amen. And God causes them to cease. Yes. Hmm. But the amount of damage that those storms can do in a few minutes is astronomical. Yes. I ask mm. you, where is your faith? My mama. You know you're going to come out. You just have to weather it. Yes. We're going to talk about storms a little bit more in a minute, but these are seasonal. These storms are seasonal uh, just as much as they are spiritual. Yes. Glory to God. Mm. Life is filled with uncertainty, but yes. one thing we're certain about is the love of Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're certain that um, the Bible has explained some things to us about who we are in him and who we are to be in him. God is always on our side. Do you belong to him? He hasn't forgotten about you in the midst of the storm. Mm -mm. He hasn't forgotten about you in the midst of that mountain being in your face. Mm -hmm. He wants you to know that he is all powerful. Yeah. And at that particular time, when you have gotten everything that you need, the mountain will be moved mm -hmm. and restored. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have to have a heart of gratitude because mm -hmm. guess what? Even in the even in that mountain being in our way, even in that storm, yes. God is already saying, I will take care of you. God is already, He's already made plans for you. Even before you came to your mother's womb. Amen. Sister read the word. Yes. He wants us to have a prosperous life, a good life, an expected end. So if God said it, it's going to happen. Amen. Weary. Glory to God. God is always on our side. We can weather the storm. Storms are not going to last forever. Let's go to Ecclesiastes. The book of Ecclesiastes. Let's go to the third chapter. This is a very familiar uh, passing uh, yeah the storms are, are are gonna happen you know but you don't have to be afraid of the storms amen see because you're in christ jesus and if you're not in christ jesus of course you can be in christ jesus when you have breath but i suggest yeah. that you get it together and you get it together quickly glory to god so the word of god reads ecclesiastes 3 i'm going to start at verse 1 and everyone knows this a lot of you know the saints know this passage to everything there is a season mm -hmm. and a time for every purpose under the heaven amen there's a time and a season these things have already been appointed some things we're absolutely going to have to go through amen but there's some things where yeah, some things we bring on ourselves when we're disobedient, but there's a season for that too. Because if you play your cards right, and I don't suggest anybody play cards, it's a figure of speech. <laughs> but if you do the right thing, glory to God, you will prevail. You will do well in Christ Jesus. So to everything, there's a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to what? Build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. There's a season for it all. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war, and then there's that time of peace. 
So with the word telling us all of these things, again, we know things are seasonal. And who's in charge of these seasons? Our father, which art in heaven. He completely knows it all. He understands it all. It is just our job to be obedient, to listen, to learn exactly where we are. Storms are going to come just like those mountains. Hallelujah. And sometimes you feel like you're being smacked in the face with a mountain and a storm. Amen. Yes. So consider yourself blessed that God trusts you to go through. Amen. 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 What are you talking about, woman of God? You know, being blessed going through. Nobody want to go through. You don't want to go through. But God trusts you to go through. He trusts you to be a good soldier doing it. Amen. All right. So he's in charge of the seasons. He's in charge of the storms. Glory to God. Let's go to, let's see here. Let's go to Matthew 8. Let's go to Matthew 8. We're going to talk about storms. Matthew 8. Glory to God. Now, um, we're going to start at verse 23, Matthew 8 and 23. And you know this story as well. You, you know the history. Jesus was, woo, Jesus was awesome. Do you hear me? And still is. Hallelujah. He is an awesome wonder. Glory to God. So Matthew 8, starting at verse 23. And when he was entered into the ship, his disciples followed him. Amen. Can you see yourself? Going in right behind Jesus, going into the ship. Everything looks right right now. Hallelujah. Things are good. Glory to God. I'm with the Father. Hallelujah. Look, ain't nothing hurt me. Can you imagine how strong they felt because they were just with Jesus? Can you hear me? Okay. <laughs> Dick and Ray said, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Glory to God. Okay. So chapter Matthew 8, um, chapter 23, Jesus is awesome. So, and when he was entered into the ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves. But he was asleep. Amen. Said Jesus was asleep. Glory to God. And his disciples came to him and woke him saying, Lord, save us. We perish. Just a little wind. Just a little rain. Just a little, little mountain. Just a little storm. Glory to God. And he saith unto them, why are you so fearful? Why? I mean, they walk with Jesus. They talk with Jesus. They slept with Jesus. Glory to God. And they were on the boat with Jesus Christ himself. And when the little storm came up, Lord, have mercy. Don't we get that way? When a storm comes up? We forget the almighty power of God and what he's capable of, but he's developing your faith. He's develop, developing perseverance. He's developing all these good traits in you through the storm. They made it out of the storm alive. Listen to what happens. Glory to God. And his disciples came to him and awoke him because he was resting fine. He knew everything was all right. Jesus, glory to God. Saying, Lord, Let of Jesus. 
the blood of Jesus. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Okay. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. All right. Praise God. Now, as I was saying, hallelujah. And he said to them, why are you so fearful, O ye of little faith? He's going to continue to develop us in the storms. The storms of life are made to help us get to where we need to be. It's not that God has forgotten about you. It's not that God wants to be mean and ugly to you. It's because he wants to get you there. Mm, yeah. It's not going through. You know, you hear lots of times, you hear a testimony, so she sure doesn't look like what she's been through. He sure doesn't look like you have been through. <laughs> Won't he do it? Won't he do it? God is building you up each and every day. Rain or shine. He's giving you the opportunity to trust in him more and and every day you should have a trust in God because that's what But here our brothers, our, our disciples, our, our brothers, even to God, they had to wake him up because he when you see him. And the blinking of an eye, and, and rebuke the winds and the sea. There was a great calm. As quickly as your storm arrives, that's how quickly God can move it. And the midst of the And nobody can do it but God. Nobody but God. Amen. But the man who had to say, what manner of man is this? Glory to God. What manner of man? And are gonna come your way. You are not accepted from these things because you have accepted Christ in your life. But what you are to do to understand is to stay in your word, to understand your relationship with Christ Jesus. And he gives us, and, and the word of God gives us a great example, be like Jesus. There are promises of God, there are things that he has commanded us to do. There's so many, com you know, we have the 10 commandments, but the word of God is full of commandments. Amen. We're supposed to be living out Christ. And you're still to live out Christ in the storm or when you see the mountain that looks unmovable. Who are you today? able to this mountain. Do you trust the Father enough? That's good. That's good. Do you trust you in the storm. Mm, These are good. questions I want you to really think about. Mm. These are questions that you need to go before the Lord and ask. Yes, yes. To receive. Because you are the one that's making up in your mind that you can weather the storm and you can mm. move the mountain. But obviously, God is going to God. Preach. Preach. Every day, there's a little something. But you know, I, you know, you feel your sisters and your brothers when you're going through some time. And, and it almost felt so weird to me today. I'm like, hmm, something feels a little uncanny to me today. I was out doing my. But I was like, the sun is shining. It's so beautiful. You know, nothing's going on. But if my sister or my brother God would give me the revelation to even pray before I get moving of that storm that's happening. And that's exactly what happened today. 
And so I praise God, even in the midst of other people's storms, God will lead and guide you what to do. Why don't you do it? Why don't you do it? Yes. The box of his feet. Whether um, it feels like you're not going to make it, you're going to make it. Trust in God. He's not, when you belong to him, he's not going to have you overtaken by the storm. You trust him. You better kiss them spiritual biceps, honey, and just know that God is. Everybody, let's see them biceps come. Amen. 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 Hey. Glory to God. It's <laughs> an amazing God. And my brothers and sisters out there, you just have to grab hold. And you have to hang on to the hem of his garment. And if you feel like you're slipping, you tie a knot in it real quick. And you hold on. For dear life, because in the right time, in the right season, he is going to lift you up. You're, he's going to lift you up higher than you ever have been in him. So when the next storm or the next mountain comes, you are prepared to move. You are prepared to move by the grace of God. You are prepared, prepared to move by his power and his might. He loves you enough to allow certain situations. He loves you enough so that you won't think you're doing anything out of your own self. He loves you enough to remind you who he is and how much he cares for you. This is so very important. Because there are so many changes coming about in the world. In the world. Nothing that God has not told us. Everything is outside of his word. But where are you? Mm. Where is your faith? Can you move the mountain? Can you overcome the storm? And the answer would be yes. Amen. 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 God. Hallelujah. Now, the thing is, we always come to the altar and we leave those things that we don't need. We know that God is going to take care of those things. Um, we always tell you, you know, when you come to the altar, leave that stuff there. Don't go back and pick it up. But the Lord has revealed some of you you know, you'll leave part, a part of it there. And you'll take a part of it with you. You'll leave all of it with the Father. You'll leave every bit of it with him. And you ask him for instructions concerning your storm, concerning the mountains. But you leave it right there. If you can trust God enough, come on to the altar. If you can trust God enough in this season to know that it's all seasonal and God's in charge of the seasons. Remember, we just said that. Nothing happens without him knowing about it. Even Satan himself has the petition. So you're all powerful through Christ Jesus. Luke 10 and 19. Behold, I give you power to tread over serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy. Trust in God on today. Leave it with him. And you know, even if you're going through, when you get weary, he's so very proud of you. He's so very proud of you because you didn't give up. It might have been tough when you felt like you were throwing in the towel. But you didn't give up. Continue to stay on the word of God. Continue to take in godly instructions. And when that, when you tell that mountain to move, that mountain to move so fast, honey, it'll be like, go on. And when that storm comes, you go outside and say, I command you in the name of Jesus. With your destruction at this day, and this door will come. Are you believing God for it? He's trusting you. Amen. 
Let's come on to the altar. Everybody, glory to God. Your altar is right here in your heart. Bow before the Lord, amen. And those of you that want to be saved, according to Romans 10 and 9, if you confess with your mouth that you are a sinner, glory to God, and you believe that God sent his only begotten son to die on Calvary's cross, hallelujah, to atone you back to him, if you believe that, and you believe that he hung, bled, and died, and he rose on the third day, the, 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 the stone was rolled away from the tomb. He lives. Glory to God. He lives. Hallelujah. You, you believe in your heart these things. You're saved. You're saved. You will save you. Father God, thank you for saving me. I believe, I believe that you sent your only son to die to redeem me back to you. God, I believe that on the third day the stone was rolled away. I believe that I am yours. You're saved. Glory to God. Can nobody do it like God? And those in the backslidden condition, Lord, I repent right now in the name of Jesus. I pray that you 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 bless me to stay focused so that I won't get distracted again. I rebuke the devil in his assignment. And I'm coming back home like the prodigal son. Lord, forgive me. I am yours. And oh, you belong to the Father again. In Jesus' name, amen. God is so good. Yes. And I want you all to understand. You know, sometimes when we come to the altar and we leave, we don't feel a thing. It's not about what you feel like. Feelings change. Amen. That's why they feel it. But you gotta know what you know in your heart and in your mind. Stay in the word. If you don't have a church, find a good Bible teaching church and you go and watch God do the rest. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. I praise God for this word. I praise God for dealing with me first. Move some mountains. Move some mountains. Weather storms. Listen, you have the capability to tell the storms to cease. Hallelujah. But be careful because some of the storms are meant for us to be there for a while so that we can get exactly what we need. Hallelujah. In that storm, we don't want it to recycle because we didn't learn the first time. Amen. Amen. To God be all the glory. I am now going to turn this over to the hands of my dear, precious, wonderful sister, Apostle uh, Bonnie, Apostle Prophetess Bonnie Foster. Amen. And then right after her, um, Apostle Precious Cynthia Davison will speak. Amen. Amen. Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for this word that you use, Lord God, your servant, elder, prophetess, Johnetta Little, to, you, know, to bring forth God. Lord, thank we you. pray in the name of Jesus that you yes, will replace all virtue that thank was you. depleted from her body. Thank Lord you, God. God. You know what she is standing in need of. Yes, God. God. Yes, so God. Thank you all things, God. You know her. For every request, you know her petitions that she's made up to you, God. And so, Lord, we pray that your will be done upon her life, God. And we thank you for this word. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 This word needed. And I love it. And you asked the question, where is your faith? Amen. You continue to ask questions. Mm -hmm. and use a therapeutic modality mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. to get people to answer those questions mm -hmm. because when you ask questions like that you get people minds to thinking and taking mm -hmm. a personal examination at each mm -hmm. one of ourselves not the mm -hmm. word that comes forth it's not just for you you all mm -hmm. that are I think it's for us too. Yes. So if we have to go and ask, answer these questions and be mm -hmm. honest regarding it. And mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, I just want to tell you, somebody messed around and showed me the Bible. 
they messed around and they showed me Philippians 4.13. I saw all things through Christ Jesus. They messed around, woman of God, and showed me where what the scripture that you read, Matthew 8.23 through 27, telling us that we could speak because God got that over nature. Um, He got power over everything. And in your favorite, Luke 10, 19, you gave me that scripture at my ordainment when you spoke into my Amen. mind. And I tell you, but somebody messed up and they told Amen. me I can do these things through Christ Jesus. And so that's why I say to, to, to the people of God, walk in it. Where is your faith? Amen. Woman of God, an awesome word because when you know the word of God and you receive it in your heart, oh, yes. God, you said it only takes a faith, but I'll see a must have see oh man they messed up and they shouldn't have messed up when they showed it to you walk in it people of god answer those questions go back and read those scriptures and walk in mm -hmm. it a mm -hmm. powerful word of god for mm -hmm. people to walk mm -hmm. and who they are a child of the most high god heaven mm -hmm. have power within them mm -hmm. oh hallelujah mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Speak it. Speak it. Walk in it. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, God. A powerful word. A powerful word. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And hey, hey, hey. And that's what y'all saw today. Y'all saw that transformation firsthand for when I was being thrown that punch that for stuff going all come all directions. Yeah, oh, say you better get thee behind me. I shall go forth in the name of Jesus. Yes. And be that yes. you have that faith. And oh, Lord, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Yes. Yes. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Don't do it. Oh, hallelujah. A powerful word of God, woman of God. A powerful word of God. Y'all need to be running too. All y'all need to be out there teaching on that word. Amen. To God be all the glory. Amen. Amen. I tell you, it, it blesses me so much when I see you praising God. Even though I couldn't hear the music, listen, and um, Apostle uh, Davison, she was even bouncing her head like she could hear it. And I thought to myself, look, she thinks we can hear that, but usually I'm all over the place and I'm just looking at her and I'm just getting the glory by watching her. <laughs> They wanted to the song, woman of God, about the blood of Jesus. I was like, it blows. Yeah, she said, love is this song. It blessed my heart because I knew you were going through, and the Lord had you smiling, and he was singing. I said, look at her go. Look at her go, Jesus. Nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood. <laughs> Still beautiful, <laughs> God. Apostle Precious. <laughs> Amen. What an awesome, anointed word. Yeah, uh, refresh, of course, and, and realizing where is our faith. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we in the season say sometimes we have to go back and get, you know, when you when you're in college and you you graduate, sometimes you have to take a and you want to go back. Sometimes you have to take a refresh course. Refresh course. Revise and stuff. That's we need good. to revive in, in our Amen. faith. In our faith. Amen. Amen. Going through going through various things, but sometimes mm. even in season saying we sometimes we 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 doubt a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit, and God said, "Uh, uh, no, God has got to tighten that up, hey. build that, build the spiritual muscles up That's again." Right. That's right. About moving those mountains, hey. speak to the mountain and to the middle of the sea. Mm -hmm. That's what we learned when we were our first. God say, mm -hmm. "I want to see a mountain get cast into the sea." Amen. <laughs> because that's the kind of thing you, you can have. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you if you if you mm -hmm. if you really believe what, what God is able to do, it will mm -hmm. be done. If Amen. You, you can, if Amen. the Bible says you can lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Glory, glory. <laughs> you can lay hand, you can you can raise dead, lay hands mm -hmm. on the sick, recover that's the right. blind, that's the right. ears. Mm -hmm. And we have we have seen that in action. Mm -hmm. We don't mm -hmm. see it as much as we could because That's well, right. because why we've gotten complacent. But God said, "No, today I need mm -hmm. you. I need you to have that full refresher course." Amen. And so, we, so we can get out there and get the job done. It is very Amen. 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 To, God. to God be the glory. As you said, um, 
um, you know, we would be able to raise the dead. I remember when a sister girlfriend of mine, her husband passed away and uh, we were at the funeral and she looked at him and she said, get up in the name of Jesus. I was waiting for him to get up. And she believed that it, he needed to be where he was, apparently. Glory to God. We praise God for that. But there was no doubt in her voice. And there was, I was waiting for old boy to get up. And I can't believe. And sometimes the people around me, because, you know, they look like, what in the world is she doing? I mean, he's a Christian. Girl. What is she you know that man dead? But God said. And sometimes, you know, you. you not sometimes, all the times. You got to know what you know, what you know. Yes. You, and you yes. trust in God, you have to walk in it, you all about that faith. But you will sometimes have people around you that will try to diminish your faith. Amen. Uh, and if we can all get on one accord and know that God is a, a God of the impossible, He can make yes. anything. If we all yes. would get on one accord, we could see those miracle signs and wonders that yes. he does. Amen. Amen. All the glory. And it needs to go on board in the church. And so that's why this word is so good, woman of all God. Yes. Because when we walk in this and when we all come together on the same accord in the church, man, people can be getting healed and delivered and set yes. free. Yes. I can go run again, woman of God. I'm telling you. Yes. Because, because that's the faith that is needed in the yes. church. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Oh, yeah. I know, yeah. like, uh, as I was saying the other day, we should be able to be at the point so where we don't have to lay hands on nobody, but just ah. speak it, just speak it. Mm. Got to, got to, got to, got to speak it. Yeah. Speak it in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, just mm -hmm. like the woman of God did. And I would have been like, oh, you're going to get up from here. Listen, <laughs> I, I, I was on the end of my seat. I was like, oh, we getting ready to speak something here. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Be like, I'm touching it agreeing with Amen. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Amen. Jesus, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Well, I, the Jesus is real. God. It is real when we walk in it. Yes. And that's what we gotta do. We gotta walk yes. in it. Yes, yes, we do. And and we have to get um, more determined to walk in it more than ever right now because we are living in some perilous times, those last and evil days, and it gets evil by the hour, more evil by the hour. And it um, lost the minds. They just know some folks don't lost the minds. Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> no. We, you know, we're not laughing at them, but it's just like, what in the world? Yes. <laughs> and it's like, you, I mean, even trying to conduct business on the yes. phone, yes. The, 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 the attitudes, the people, they don't really do, they want the work, but they want the money. And, and so we have to stay in, 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 in the spirit of the Lord God at all times and not Amen. allow anything to take us out of it. Yeah, we get mad, we get angry, but we got to come back yeah. to ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's right. That is, that is such a good statement. That is such a good statement there because we can't, we can't lose our morality in Christ mm -hmm. Jesus. No, we can do it. We have to stay holy yes. because the word of God says that if we don't stay holy, and yeah, we'll mess up sometimes, but we have to understand we look at people. Lord, have mercy, and you see nothing but the devil. You need to mm -hmm. in a good way, righteous yes. praise, that they may be moved again because it's like it says, sister, it's everywhere to conduct business. True story. I went to the, um, the deli at the food lion the other day. And um, I wanted to get a special turkey that my mom can have with the diet. And uh, praise God for United Healthcare distributing justice for you. Ooh, praise God. But anyway, I um, asked the young man. I said, um, I would, you know, I would like this particular um, ham about two dollars worth. I mean, um, he said, uh, the slicer is because I was stood there for about ten minutes while he was on the phone, and then he finally looked up. And he said the slice was so I went back the next day and um, real nice uh young lady and young man were there and we were just chit-chatting and um and I said oh I'm so glad to get this ham it looks good I said you know um 
I came last night, but the slicer wasn't working. And the lady looked at me, she went, that slicer was working. She just told her. She said, that was working. She said, and he got in trouble for that. I said, well, I said, well, but can you imagine? He didn't want to help me. So he just told me that. A lot. And that's, and that's what people are doing now, you know, and he's getting paid, you know, to give me my turkey and uh, he didn't want to do it. So right. he got in trouble. Well, God, you chastised. I said, you waiting on you might be or whatever. And, uh, and then you doing them wrong. You know, mm -hmm. I survived the next day and my mama survived, you know, getting her turkey. But it's just it's just a crazy time we live in. And we and we have to stay on that solid foundation, which is Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. And always the right thing. Always. And it's how you handle it, too. You handle it as a woman of God. And yes. just for a second, I was scheduling transportation to go mm -hmm. to church for my mm -hmm. own And that, um, because healthcare does pay for transportation for your care. Amen. You know, Amen. Also. And the woman didn't want to do it. She says, oh, I'm not going to do it because you're going to church. Well, if you want to go to the store or shopping or do the mall, I'll schedule it. But I refuse to go do it for the church. And she wow. says, well, there's not something near there. And I told wow. her a store near there because it was close to five o'clock. So she scheduled it for a store near there and told me I could walk across the street from there. And I said, oh, okay, just, just go ahead on this scheduling. And I did, but I called back today and they apologized put the mm -hmm. right address for me but so even people will stop you from trying to go to church trying yes. to Jesus. us yes. so yes. this is the time that we're in because she refused to do it because mm. it was church mm. wow and wow. so we we we, we got to stay covered and not mm. lose it. i didn't lose it or anything i said it's okay i'll just call back tomorrow and change right. it Right. So that's Amen. what I did. So we have to be prepared, knowing where is your faith, knowing Amen. that we deal Amen. with spiritual things and high places and just you broken. Go back and watch the word that Amen. my prophet Elder Jeanetta taught last Amen. week, broken. Amen. Because if you're broken, you're Amen. not going to hear things right. You're not going to see right. things right. You're Amen. not going to perceive things right. You're going to be, Amen. and I said that earlier, but Amen. you're broke. And so you mm -hmm. got to be put back together, mind, mm -hmm. body, spirit. And mm -hmm. so if you're broken, and there's nothing wrong with you getting counseling either. Mm -hmm. It's just plain to go, to go to church, but go get counseling also. Mm -hmm. If you're that mm -hmm. broken to where you can't see or hear, because there's a lot of people got broken during COVID. Yes. Mm -hmm. They got broken mm -hmm. during yeah. COVID, because that's yeah. when you see a lot of people, once we came out of COVID, people were not the same. Mm -hmm. You're right. People were different. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely Amen. right. Amen. It's a praying time. It's a praying time. Amen. Well, I'm going to, I'm if, if all has been said, praise God. Um, this was a wonderful time in the Lord. Um, but if all has been said, I'm going to uh, turn it back over to Apostle Precious for the benediction. Amen. Amen. And the peace of God. Yes, Jesus. Our hearts, through which also we are called in one body. Yes. And let us be thankful in yes. Jesus. In Amen. Jesus name. Amen. 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 I love, love you all. all. Mm, y'all be mm. blessed in the Lord. Mm. Mm. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let's go praise Lord, ladies. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen.